What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be adding Mattel Intellivision to your LaunchBox collection. For this system we're going to be using RetroArch and a core called Free NTV, which works really well as long as you have it set up correctly. So if you're interested in getting Intellivision set up in your LaunchBox collection, let's go ahead and get started. So since we're using RetroArch for Intellivision, obviously you're going to need to have RetroArch set up and working with LaunchBox. If you don't already have that set up, I do have a full tutorial linked in the description. Go ahead and check that out. When you're done, come on back and we'll get this one set up. The first thing we're going to need are the Intellivision games. I have mine on my desktop in a folder called Intellivision. They are all INT files and I do recommend using INT so if they're zipped, go ahead and extract them. It's also very important to have the correct BIOSes for Intellivision to function correctly. There are two we're going to need here, grom.bin and exec.bin. I'm going to show you how to tell if you have the correct BIOSes, but first we need to place these BIOSes in our RetroArch system folder. So I'm going to head over there. I have my RetroArch folder located LaunchBox, Emulators, RetroArch. Inside of here, I also have a folder called System, and this is where all of our BIOSes go for RetroArch. So I'm going to open this up, and inside of here, I have my exec.bin and my grom.bin. So place them in there. Now we're going to launch RetroArch. From the main menu of RetroArch, we're going to head down to Online Updater, Core Updater and we want to find Mattel Intellivision or the Free NTV Core. We're going to go ahead and download this. It's going to extract. Everything's good to go. And we're going to back up. We're not going to exit yet because we want to make sure that we have the correct BIOSes for this core. So from the main menu, load core. And now we want to load up that Mattel Intellivision Free NTV Core we just downloaded. We're going to press Enter information, core information. And if we scroll down here, you can see that both of the BIOSes that are required are present and they are correct. So we have our exec.bin and our grom.bin. If for some reason you don't have the correct BIOSes, there is a checksum listed here. This is the MD5. You can check this against the BIOS you have or the BIOS you're going to get to make sure it is the correct one. So now that we have the core and BIOS is ready to go, we're just going to exit RetroArch and I'm going to head back to my LaunchBox folder. From here, I'm going to go to Games and I'm just going to drop my Intellivision games right in here. So I now have them located in my LaunchBox directory. It's just going to make it easier on me. Now it's just a matter of configuring the emulator inside of LaunchBox and importing our games. So we're going to open up LaunchBox. From the drop down menu, we're going to head to Tools, Manage Emulators. We're going to find RetroArch, Associated Platforms, and I've already placed mine all the way at the bottom here, Mattel Intellivision, and I'm using the Free NTV Core. So if you've downloaded the core, you can use the drop down menu to find it. Mattel Intellivision, Free NTV. And I'm going to make sure this is checked. This is going to be my default emulator for Intellivision games. Click OK and close. Now it's time to import our games. Drop down menu, tools, import, ROM files. From here, I'm going to add that whole Intellivision folder that I added to my games directory. LaunchBox is going to automatically scan this and sort everything out for us. Click Next. What platform? We can use the drop down menu and find Mattel Intellivision. Click Next. RetroArch should be our default emulator, but if it's not, you can use the drop down menu. Next. I'm going to use them in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. If they're somewhere else on your PC, Copy the files to my LaunchBox games folder. We've already done that. Yes, I would like to download metadata for my games. I'm going to leave the very first one checked here. Next. And I want to download as much box art and information on these games as I can. So I'm going to leave everything checked. 
and click Next. You can also do the same thing for EMU movies if you'd like to. And there's no custom options we need with Intellivision. We're going to click Next. It's going to parse the files. We have the name of the game, the directory, and our extension, which is .int. Click Finish. LaunchBox is going to go ahead and download all of the metadata, box art, and screenshots for these games. My 138 Intellivision games were imported successfully. I'm going to click OK. We're going to go to Consoles, Mattel Intellivision, and here's what we have now. We now have Intellivision added to our LaunchBox collection. All we need to do is test it out. Just go with Demon Attack. It's going to launch the game for us. And you can use a controller. I'm using an Xbox One S controller here. Now there's a few things to note with this controller set up. If you press start, it'll give you a little screen, a pause screen. Press A, it'll give us help. This will tell us the button actions we need. And if you ever run into a game where you have more than one player and you need a keypad, you can hold your left shoulder button and you'll get your numbers over here. So you can input a number up to nine. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching and hope you set up Mattel and television because there are some really great games here. But overall, it's really nice to have this in your LaunchBox collection. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.